Good morning. It's Grandma Book again, here for the second day of traveling to Africa with you. I sure hope you enjoyed the book yesterday. You know what happened after I wrote that book? I met a woman from Zimbabwe, and she told me how really special a package she had gotten from the United States was when she was a little girl. So when I came home after talking with her, I wrote a piece that maybe will be called an epilogue. It's a big word. It means when you add on to a story. So I'd like to read the epilogue of a wish for a Christmas dress. So this is what happens. Remember when the girls got their dresses, they were happy, everyone was happy. A wish for a Christmas dress continued. On the day after Christmas, Abamie still could hardly believe she and all the other girls in the village had received their new dresses from Santa. She and all the girls had the best Christmas ever. They danced all day in the center of the village, spinning their in circles and laughing. Today, she put on her old dress. She carefully folded her new dress and asked her mom for a safe place to keep it. She wanted to wear it only on special days. As she was folding it, she found a tag on her dress. It said, chosen especially for you from someone who cares in Wisconsin, delivered by Santa. She was confused by this and wondered if the other girls also had a tag on their dress. When Abamy asked them, they said they all had tags on their dresses. One girl said her tag said it was chosen by someone in North Carolina. Another said the dress came from Tennessee. And another said hers came from Washington, D.C. They all wondered where these places were. When they went back to school, the girls showed the tags to their teacher. She said that maybe Santa had help in choosing the dresses but he was the one who delivered them. The names of the places on the tags were all located in the United States. Together, they went to look at the world map that hung in their classroom to find where these places were. The dresses became even more special because the tag said it was specially chosen for each girl. Abamie's dress had many colors, just like she wished for. Another girl had a skirt that opened like a flower, just as she had wanted. And yet another girl had a, one made of cool fabric because she always liked to feel comfortable. And one more girl said she heard the dress she got was just like the one she saw in a dream. Most of all, all the dresses were new dresses. No other little girl had ever worn them. As the girls grew bigger, they received their new, other new dresses, but none was ever as special as the ones they received first. These dresses also gave them another wish. They wanted to travel to the United States, especially to Wisconsin, Tennessee, North Carolina, and Washington, D.C. They wanted to meet the nice people who lived there. In order to do that, they knew they, they would have to study and work hard at school. In Africa, the first few years of school are in your village. As the classes get harder and the children get older, they must leave their village. The time had come for the girls to go on to the next level. As they packed to leave, each girl took her special dress with her. The dress no longer fit them but they were special because it had given them hope and a belief that someone in another part of the world cared about them. They also took their dream of visiting the United States, knowing that one day it would come true. So that is what I learned from someone who actually did get a present from someone in the, in the United States when she was a young child. And I hope you enjoyed the epilogue to my story. Today we're going to talk a little bit about um, doing some things that maybe you could do for to help. You know that 
in the book, we see that the girls' dresses have many patterns on them. Today, attached to the um, this lesson, is going to be an outline of the dress, of this dress right here. And what I'm going to ask you to do is I'm going to ask you to take that, have an adult print it out for you from Facebook. You do a design that you think a little girl in Africa would love. Maybe it's a bright color, maybe it's flowers, maybe it's just an interesting design. Then have the adult take a picture of it and have it be posted onto Grandma Book's page. That way we can all be a part. Now what's Grandma Book gonna do with those? I'm going to print those out and every year we do a dress drive that sends clothes to children in Africa. We have sent over 900 pieces of new clothing. The, um, so when those dresses and shirts and shorts go this year, we are going to include these wonderful pictures that you did in that mailing. It should be exciting to have your artwork go to Africa. Speaking of Africa, most of the things we have sent last year went to Uganda. Uh, we had started to send them to Cameroon, but there was some problem getting them shipped there. And we found a very good way to send them to Uganda. And through the parish, St. Francis Borgia Parish in Cedarburg, Wisconsin, we were able to receive the dresses from my friends and then able to take them to some people who were going to Uganda who actually worked in the parish in Uganda. So we that is where the dresses went last year. There is another clip that was attached or will be a separate added to this page where you will have the young girls and boys in Uganda being very happy about getting their dresses and you'll see the joy on their face about what one dress could possibly do. Now you may have a question about where is Uganda and where are we talking about? Well, we are talking about Africa. If you can see the continent of Africa and um, we're going to zoom right into where Uganda is. It's kind of in the middle, a little bit over to the coast and it's surrounded by many countries. It does not border the ocean. So there is Uganda, and uh, that's the place we're looking at. You saw yesterday in the, on the other page what where Cameroon was. So this is the big continent of Africa. I'm going to put this down again and talk about what else we're going to be doing. We are also going to be at tomorrow... Tomorrow is when we start our safari. So tomorrow we will start learning about the animals that are on safari and what a safari is like. I hope that you'll join us because it's gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna have a lot of facts about animals and pictures of animals and just take a few each day and for the next two days, we're going on a safari. Thanks so much for joining back Grandma Book again today. It's always so good to t spend time with you. Hope you are doing well also. Bye. See you soon.